so cute. <sighs> I'm Lindsay Horan, and this is my story. 18-year-old Lindsay getting off the plane in France. I was a very shy girl, socially just like always nervous, and it was even worse just because they all spoke French and I didn't speak French. So I think that was very hard for me to really come out of my shell and be able to like show my personality and be comfortable. I had like gone over to France with my mom and she stayed with me for the first 10 days. Then the day my mom was leaving, I remember just bawling my eyes out as like I waved bye to her. I felt so alone, I didn't know what to do. I remember at the very beginning, there were a few girls that I knew spoke English. They weren't like very good about it in trainings and they would say like one touch or something like that. And I obviously didn't understand at the beginning and no one would help me out. And then I would take five touches and then everyone's yelling at me. And I was like, well, no one, no one explained this to me. One of the defining moments was after three months of being there, I still didn't speak one lick of French. I was honestly just so afraid to speak and say something wrong. There was this girl named Cassie that was on the team and she didn't speak to me once. And I would just assume like, oh, this girl doesn't know English. She ended up being my like driver every day. Me and two other girls would ride with her. After like four or five weeks of being there, all of a sudden I like asked a question to one of the girls in the car and Cassie full out answered perfect English not even a French accent. And I was just like, what the, <laughs> are you kidding me? I guess I need to try and put myself out there. And I thought it was so ridiculous at the time, but it helped me so much in my life. Once I started learning French a little bit more, I knew when the players were saying good job to me. <laughs> the French culture and the French people really appreciate when people make an effort to know their language and know their culture. And so that was really cool for me, just to learn and grow in a different way. And then I just matured in so many different ways, like as a person. It's the coolest experience that you can have is traveling the world and it is the best classroom and it's learning in these different ways and trying new things and trying to be confident and was able to come back to the States and like be more outgoing. Obviously for me, like the World Cup is the highest point for football. But when I got the phone call from Jill, I was just talking to her, I was like, I'm not gonna cry. And Jill starts talking about how this is full circle for me and the sacrifice I took going there and the three and a half years that I was in France and all this stuff. And I just full blown start bawling. So now like I kind of look at it like, it's such an incredible thing that this has happened. And <laughs> now I'm playing in a World Cup in France where this all started for me. It brings me so much joy because I've been wanting this my whole life and this has been absolutely everything to me.